December 1st. Yay! December 1st. I get to open up my advent yarn. I'm so excited. Okay. Full disclosure. I actually already opened day one off camera and it's already caked up. But it'll be the first time you guys get to see it. So Here we go. I'm so excited to show this to you. Okay, genuinely, it's so funny is that it, it matches my shirt, my sweater. Oh, do you like my Christmas Doctor Who sweater? Is that not amazing? Oh, guys, I have high hopes for this month's socks. Like, really high hopes. So, I still haven't decided on my pattern. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to do, but I figure cuff. So I can just start with my cuff, cast this on, get the cuff done. And okay, there's two things guys. I'm having, my thoughts are like, okay, I have 25 balls of yarn, little miniature things of yarn here. So I am trying to decide if they should just be completely mismatched socks. So like, okay, you know, days one through four, no. 12 or 13 goes on one sock and then day 13 through the 25th or the 24th. Oh, you know what? I think it does go to the 24th, right? That kind of makes sense. Um, to the 24th. So it'd be 12 days on each sock. It's like the 12 days of Christmas. That's kind of fun. Okay. I gotta think about it. So I haven't decided. So I was thinking like 12 on one sock, 12 on the other, and then that will just be fun. The The fact that they're just my advent socks will be the fun of it. So that's kind of where I'm at. Yes, I already got this caked up. So sorry you missed out on that. <laughs> Some things you don't always get on camera. <laughs> um, but we want to get projects done. So I want to jump in. I wanted to get this set up so I could start knitting um, and get the cuff done today. And let's see, there is actually more stuff in this fun advent. There's also stitch marker I don't know if will it focus in will it focus in if it can't see me no it won't you get the point it's a flower it's a stitch marker we love these they're very useful I ran out of them yesterday I had to just make myself one so or two days ago whatever <laughs> but got a new stitch marker awesome I don't know where they go like I actually was like I thought I just made up enough stitch markers. Guys, do I have that many whips run, running around my house? Cause I like, I don't know where they went, but that's not what today's video is about. So let's start our advent socks. And like, seriously, could this like match any better? Oh, okay. Let's go knit. Let's go cast on. This is very soft. This is very beautiful. Yeah. I think I'm going to do what I just said. I think I'm going to do 12 colors on one sock, 12 colors on the other, and they're going to be completely mismatched and that's just gonna be fun. Okay. Let's go cast off. So Vlogmas is gonna be interesting because it's really, really gray here and my gray chair does not have, I'm casting on right now, does not have the most amazing lighting. So what you guys are used to seeing might be a little bit different just because I'm trying to make sure you can actually see like what I'm doing this, um, this month. So yes. Um, when I film my other videos, a lot of times I have time to, um, to plan it. So it's like, Oh, it's a really good, well lit moment. I can start filming and like plan around it and then, might take a few days to even get to that point, and, but like clip it all together and it looks nice and well lit. So anyway, you might be hanging out on this side of my room, which is a lot closer to the large window that's in the room, plus Christmas tree lights. So anyway, let's keep casting on. <laughs> okay, I cast it on 64 stitches. So it's ready to go from here to here. I got this tip from Winnick Mom in her basic knit along, sock along. I think she calls it her sock along. 
and it was to cast on to double pointed needles before you move them on to here. And I've actually have found that just to be useful and easier just for a lot of the things that I've done. Um, so that's just what I do. I cast them on and then I knit it just straight into onto the circular needles. So there we go. It's a simple, it's like, it's funny how those little simple tips when it comes to knitting just make a difference in your enjoyment of the knitting. You know what I mean? <sighs> All right. Are you guys ready for Christmas? As you saw in yesterday's video and pictures, I got like my gift knitting done, but now it's like, you know, Christmas movies, Christmas cookies, maybe ornament making though I'm thinking because of this I'm probably not getting ornament making in but last year I was all about the ornament making so here's one of the oh, I had so much fun making these last year and I actually thought about even doing that with this yarn is make some baubles to like coordinate with the yarn but I was like don't don't overwhelm yourself Heidi I always grew up I'm looking I'm looking to see if I can find one of my mom's ornaments that she made. I know there's one. Hold on. Here it is. Ah, I'm coming guys. I'm coming. Okay. So last or most of my life, my parents, actually, I want to say every year, I would be shocked if they missed a year. And at this point I have so many ornaments. I don't think I could actually count up like, you know, 29 years of ornament giving. Um, but my parents gave me and my brother an ornament every single year and it would either be themed to what our year was like so the year I moved to New York my mom got or my mom my parents got me a Snoopy ornament that was dressed up like the Statue of Liberty so Snoopy being one of my absolute favorite things and then obviously Statue of Liberty to do in New York. But also if you watch the Macy Days, the Macy Day Parade, Snoopy's always been a big part of that, obviously. So anyway, like that, so themed either like that where it was like totally just made sense for, um, for our year or she would make everyone ornaments. And so like I have this one from years ago, like so many years ago, I think I was like, this is one of the oldies. Like I almost want to say I was potentially below like younger than four when she made a bunch of these. Um, and so I enjoy that process. I haven't been so diligent with my own kids and I've been like kind of going back and forth on like, should I do the same thing? Um, or maybe every few years do the same thing so that like when they move out of my house, they have their box of ornaments. Because there is just something fun. To be honest, I think what I'm nervous, why I've like hesitated on doing it for my kids is my Christmas tree is very full. And if I give my five kids each an ornament every year, that will add up really fast. So I'm kind of trying to decide how I want to carry on that tradition. Okay, so what is your guys's family traditions when it comes to ornaments? Are you... Do you do the same thing like my parents did where we got a new one and then added it, you know, to the tree. And then when my brother and I moved out, we got our ornaments. Or are you like picture perfect tree? Don't really care what's on it as far as sentimental, which I can understand the appeal of that. There's something about a very well themed out tree that I totally get. All right, I, I, I've got to know. You gotta tell me what your family traditions, oh, when it comes to ornaments. Also, if you did the ornament thing, was it always store bought or did you guys make your ornaments? Okay, we almost have the cuff ready to actually work in the round. Oh dear, oh dear guys. Talking and knitting, talking and knitting. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to the knitting and not as much of the talking. <laughs>
All right, we're done with day one. We have a cuff. I'm liking it, it's super soft. All right, let's hope I will see you guys tomorrow. And, and leave me a comment in the comment section about your family's traditions when it comes to ornaments. All right, we'll see you guys in another video.